my name is Matt McCool with Motion VFX, and in this video, I'm excited to bring you our brand new DaVinci Resolve plugin called M Shorts. If you create Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, TikToks, or any other kind of short form vertical video and you want to level up your engagement, this pack is perfect for you. We've got titles, transitions, effects, pretty much everything that you need to create engaging vertical short form video. So let's go ahead and jump inside Resolve and take a look at everything that comes with M Shorts. Once you have M Shorts installed, you can find it under the effects library under toolbox. It's split up over video, transitions, titles, and effects. You can also click on toolbox and search for M Shorts, and that will bring up the entire pack all in one place. So let's go ahead and set up a vertical timeline. So here I am on the edit page. I'm gonna come up to my media pool and just right click right here in the empty area. Go to timelines, create new timeline. And then we get this dialog box and the same thing will actually happen on the cut page. You can see if I right click create new timeline, we get the same box here. So I'm going to give this a name and uncheck use project settings. That gives me these new tabs up here. And if I click on format, we can actually set our resolution manually or we can select use vertical resolution and that will flip those two numbers around there. If you have horizontal video that you're trying to put in a vertical timeline, you're probably going to want to set this setting here to scale full frame with crop. If this were set to scale entire image to fit, then this is what would happen. Of course, we could, you know, manually zoom in like this and we would be able to move around with the uh, X position there or scale full frame with crop actually does it for us. So again, I would recommend doing this if you have horizontal video that you want to put in a vertical timeline. OK, so I have some clips here in my vertical timeline and I just want to run through a couple of different effects that we have available with M shorts. So if you click the three dots up here, you can enable hover scrub preview and this will kind of let you audition several different effects over your footage. So you can see we've got kind of a range of effects. We've got this double exposure. We've got backlight. Uh, this one's kind of cool. It gives you like a transparent semicircle. And then we've got gradient light. I actually really like this one. Um, especially for if you're going to be adding titles over your footage, this can be a great way to kind of separate the text in a you know more creative way other than just simply blurring the uh, footage. And then uh, this one's also pretty cool. Let me actually put this right on my clip here. You can see we've got this blue and red overlay. Of course, in the effects over here, you can change this gradient. So maybe we wanted something more of a purple and yellow that could be kind of an on brand color scheme for you and uh, let me actually come down to the typography section yeah so these kind of effects work really well when you want to add something like one of these typography effects on top of the footage just kind of a nice way to break up the contrast without just you know adding a simple blur or something like that and of course with this one we can change the uh, artist and the song even the duration of the length of the song. And of course, this play bar will update depending on how long we stretch this out. So you can see now it will kind of go a little bit slower there. If we trim this back, then it will play back a little bit faster. We also have 18 different avatars to choose from. These all give you a drop zone where you can add a photo or a logo. So for example, I'm going to grab number three and just put it right on top of this shot here. And you can see this has a drop zone area. So over here in the inspector, under the media controls, we can browse for a custom image. And of course we can resize and reposition to fit inside our mask. We can also edit the text and change the color of the text. In this case, maybe we'd want to choose something black to kind of create more contrast because he's already wearing, you know, like a white shirt there. And then under content controls, as always, we have general size and position. So this would be a good opportunity to show the uh, gradient light effect that I was talking about. So if I drag this right onto the clip itself, you can see it creates this uh, gradient there that kind of helps separate our title. But if you actually click on the effect and come up to the effects tab in the inspector, you can see these in and out checkboxes. This indicates that there are actually supposed to be animations in the beginning and the end of our effect here, but we're not seeing any animations because we've already trimmed this clip here. One way that you could restore the in and out animations is instead of applying the effect directly to the clip itself, 
I'm going to move this avatar up to the next video track above, and then I'm just going to apply the effect over an adjustment clip instead. So if I bring this adjustment clip right in between, and then let's go back to M shorts. Now, if I grab my gradient light and apply it to my adjustment clip, we actually see the in and out animation on our gradient. Probably one of my favorite effects that we have included with M shorts is this guidelines effect right here. Now this one's more of a utility to make sure that you don't have anything competing with some of the UI elements on different social media platforms. So if I apply this to a clip, we can see we've got our UI overlays and over here, there's actually a couple of presets. We have YouTube shorts, Instagram, and TikTok. Just be sure to delete the effect when you're uh, actually done and ready to render, unless you want these on there for some reason, but they're really just more of a visual aid. Okay, so moving on from that, we also have 10 different frame effects. They kind of just put your footage inside of different shapes and add different kind of elements on top of your clip here. So for example, let me actually copy this adjustment clip over to the following clip and I will just delete the gradient light. And I'm gonna use frame number two. You can see this one kind of just animates these diagonal letterbox shapes on the top and bottom. And I think this would work nice with maybe let's use a call to action. Uh, let's try number 15. I'm just going to put that right on top. And that one kind of has a fun little bouncy swipe up to react animation to kind of encourage your audience to react to your video. Now, one thing I really like doing with this pack is combining some of our typography with these elements. So for example, if I grab number 25, you know, he's wearing this hat. It kind of maybe looks like it could be a uh, sale for a, for a merch item or something and this one kind of has this banner that comes across and then up here there is several of these little arrow kind of elements that kind of drive uh, the attention so let me try maybe number six we'll put this right underneath our title and as you can see this just creates uh, these nine arrows that kind of slide up and they end right there but if we click on our element and then come to content controls we can move this down so that it's kind of like it looks like it's disappearing right behind our banner and now you can see we have this visual element to kind of drive the viewer's attention to that banner there so as you can see m shorts can be customized to help make your vertical short form videos more visually engaging with just a few clicks be sure to check it out on our website in the link below Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.